217. Hashtag the switch at keep Troy blue. Hashtag verse TV 217D. But wait a minute, I'm confused. Uh, all these people that are upset about Juneteenth being a holiday are Republicans. Why would the Republican Party, the anti-slavery party, the party of Lincoln, as you'll want to tell us, uh, be upset about the holiday that celebrates the ending of slavery in the United States? If you were really the anti-racist party, the party of Lincoln, uh, the party of the Union, and the Democrats were the party of racists and slaveholders in the South, which party would be more upset about the holiday celebrating the end of slavery? Keep telling yourself the party switch didn't happen. But wait a minute, I'm confused. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I will definitely say that, yes, the hands down, the party switch definitely have been and that was somewhere around the late 60s to early 70s and yet yeah, it was completely different what some people would call uh democrats um now in the past those were republicans Current day Republicans were Democrats in the past. They it was a full switch, and yeah, everything was crazy. Um, and just for the record, someone once said to me that when Dr. King was alive, he was a Republican. Yeah, that's probably true. And back during that time period, if he was a Republican, I would have been one also. And that's what I have with that. Okay. So I... This is another, uh, my initial response is my connection. And that I will say, there are Democrats and Republicans in my family that I know and love. Hmm. So I must lead with that. And I do say that his giving the finger at the end was cute. It was a cute addition. <laughs> Nevertheless, I... I have Republicans and Democrats in my family, so I'm not anti either one as far as the humans behind it, the humans for it. Anyway, years ago in high school, I had a sexy, beautiful, light chocolate Republican teacher in high school. He, he, he was one of those young teachers who was like fresh out of college, and he was fine, but he, well, not but. Additionally, he was Republican, and he was like, people just don't know the history about the fact that the parties did have a switch, yeah. but he was still Republican. And people don't know, I won't go into detail about him, but uh, Senator Barry Goldwater was very uh, instrumental in the switch and um, I got you can look that up on NPR if you want more detail as well. But Barry Goldwater um, did some uh, pretty uh, pretty on the nose racist stuff in the name of being Republican. Anyway, but um, a college anecdote of mine is I remember once I dated this. I didn't date him. I went on one outing with this fine, dark chocolate, proud college Republican. He, it, when I got to his apartment, he, he, 
he had like a button that said like proud college Republican. And I was like, are you a Republican? He's like, yes, I am a Republican. <laughs> anyway, it was a uh, very nice experience with him. And I will say though, after we, um, and then we uh, went to bed to get to sleep. <laughs> and um, as we lay, one of my, uh, because I had really bad acne up to last semester in college, one of my acne things like bust on his pillow. And I was so embarrassed in the middle of the night, it happened. I was like, oh no. And I never called him again. It wasn't because he was anything other than fine. He was fine and he was nice, but I was so embarrassed by that. I, I couldn't call him, I'm sorry. It's complexity, you're one square. Um, yeah, just that sometimes people, in general, people, some, yeah, like I say, sometimes people grow and change, sometimes they don't. So, yeah, sometimes it's for the better, and sometimes it's just not. That's it. <laughs> oh, right. And my one squared. I'll just uh, emphasize the fact that he was beautiful. <laughs> and I was so uh, afraid because when my acne bust on his pillow and I got up in the middle of the night, I think to use, my bath use his bathroom, I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? So I was like, well, let me try to hide it. And I think I flipped over the pillow or something. I'm sorry if you're out there listening. <laughs> yes, it was me. Because I was particularly concerned because I'm like, that's a blood stain. You know, like it's ridiculous. Like mm -hmm. I went, I remember one dude who I was really, no, I wasn't in. He was attractive but he had worse acne than me in college. And I, I, that was a problem for me. Ironically, considering how bad my acne was. And that's so unfortunate how people can be that way. And I, I'm just saying all this stuff because I have time, but it, it's unfortunate how people can be that way. Cause, cause he, he was a real cute little son. But uh, anyways, what, whatever owned his own apartment. He didn't own his own apartment, but he lived in his own apartment. I was living in a dorm. Anyway, my one sentence is sometimes, sometimes the most exciting people are the most repressed sometimes. Mm -hmm. And the oh my gosh, I hope I've read the question before. I did, okay. And the hashtag verse TV question for the verse TV hashtag verse TV family is what would you I know I'm just curious y'all what would you do if your bad acne bust on a beautiful first night's pillow and what if someone did that to you how would you handle I didn't ask you before the show, Kevin, so I don't know your answer, mm -hmm. but um, I'll, we'll, we'll talk after. Anyway, yeah. all right. Are you ready for the uh, pre-closing? That's what I guess we'll call this, the pre-closing topic. Are you ready? Okay. Share, subscribe, and share again. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 